the Aegean Sea. April 1900. Just 230 feet off the coast of the small island of Antikythera, sponge divers discover an ancient shipwreck 150 feet beneath the surface. Over the next two years, artifacts are recovered from the wreckage. And among them are the remains of a coral-encrusted metal box that dates back to the second century BC. It is the oldest mechanical computer ever found, predating artifacts of similar complexity by 1,500 years. So you have this small little box with dozens of cogwheels on the inside, and it has been determined that that analog computer was used to predict astronomical events. And so it was the first computer that has ever been created by mankind. The American scientists who were studying the Antikythera device actually said that discovering the Antikythera device was like finding a jet plane in the tomb of King Tut. It was so amazing to them. They had never, ever conceived that the ancient Greeks at 200 BC would have had the knowledge of mechanical devices like this. And it's completely changed the way we perceive ancient history. While excavation teams have still not determined for certain the origin of the ship on which the Antikythera mechanism was found, the leading candidate is the island of Rhodes. According to some contemporary accounts, Rhodes was once home to what by today's standards would be considered high technology. In the fifth century BC, the poet Pindar wrote that Rhodes was once adorned with statues that came to life like living and moving creatures. He wrote that they all of a sudden became alive. And so the question then arises, well, if you have a lifeless object first, and then all of a sudden somebody breathes life into something, could it be that we have references to some type of machines? Where did the people of Rhodes get the knowledge of how to create these moving statues 2,500 years ago? I believe that it is just what Pinder said, which is they got it from the gods. Well, who are these gods? The gods are real people. They're extraterrestrials who had this technology, shared it with humanity. And now, when we see the Antikythera mechanism, there's something you can put your hands on that shows that they had the capability to do advanced machine work. It's 1,500 years too early, at least. The point is, that technology really exists, and from a technology like that, going to robotics is not too much further, and extraterrestrials would very well have had that capability for the time, if you believe what this legend says on face value.